Yeah. See, uh, before I start the main edition part, I would like to tell you a simple principles. Okay, uh, edition with nine, add with eight, with seven, one, two, three, etc. Here, just an example. What is that nine plus seven? Tell me. What is the nine plus seven? Sixteen. It's sixteen. It's very simple, right? See, what should we do? Just consider nine as ten. What is the ten plus seven? Seventeen, right? Here, you add one to this number. Now, what is the next step? You need to subtract one from the result. Okay, so what is what happened here is just add one to this number. So ten plus seven that is equal to seventeen. What we require, we require the sum of nine and seven, not ten and seven. Now, what we need to do here is just subtract one from this number, so that is equal to sixteen. Suppose, what is that nine plus six? Here, let us consider this is ten. Ten plus six that is equal to sixteen. What we require. We require the sum of nine and six. Here, what should we do? That you should take it sum of ten and six. Now, what we need to do here is just to subtract one from this number, so that is equal to fifteen. Okay. Suppose nine plus five. What happened? Let us take ten plus five. That is equal to fifteen. Minus one that is equal to fourteen. Yeah. See, no need to write down all these numbers. Just all calculations are calculated in your mind only. Nine plus seven. Immediately, what should you do? Ten plus seven that is equal to seventeen. Minus one that is equal to sixteen. What is the nine plus six? Ten plus six that is equal to sixteen minus one that is equal to fifteen. What is the nine plus five? Ten plus five equal to fifteen minus one that is equal to fourteen. Right? What is the nine plus four? Ten plus four is equal to thirteen. Thirteen minus one that is equal sorry. Ten plus four that is equal to fourteen minus one that is equal to thirteen. Is it clear? Now suppose. Uh, another example. What is that? Nineteen plus uh, six. What is the answer? Nineteen. Just consider as twenty. Twenty plus one. Twenty-six. Keep in your mind. What is the next step? Subtract one from twenty-six. So what is the answer? Answer is equal to twenty-five. What is the twenty-nine plus seven? So consider that is equal to twenty-nine as thirty. Thirty plus seven. Thirty-seven. Minus one that is equal to thirty six is the answer. Suppose what is the thirty nine plus eight? What should we do? Here thirty nine that is forty forty plus eight that is forty eight. What we need to do here is just subtract one from forty eight. So what is the answer? Answer is forty seven. See all these calculations calculated in your mind only. Okay, next but. If you do a practice, it's a very simple. And suppose forty-nine plus five. What is the answer? Forty-nine is the forty. Just remember that is fifty. Fifty plus five, fifty-five. But what we require? We require forty-nine plus five. That's why. What is the next step? You need to subtract one from fifty-five. So what is the answer? Answer is equal to fifty-four. Okay. Suppose fifty-nine. Plus seven. What is the fifty-nine plus seven? That is equal to sixty plus seven. Sixty-seven minus one. That is equal to sixty-six. Is the answer. Suppose nineteen plus seventeen. What is the answer? Nineteen. That is equal to twenty. Twenty plus seventeen. It's very simple, right? What is the twenty plus seventeen? Twenty plus ten plus seven. That is equal to thirty-seven or not? Keep in your mind. Now. You need to subtract 
1 from 37. So what is the answer? Answer is equal to 36. That's it. Suppose 29 plus 18. What is the 29 plus 18? Just observe 29, that is equal to 30. 30 plus 18, 48. 48 minus 1, that is equal to 47, is the answer. If you observe, just to convert these type of numbers into integral part number. What is the integral part needed to the rounded number? What is the rounded number of 29? That will 30 or not, right? So 29 plus 18, that is equal to 30 plus 18, 48 minus 1, 47 is the answer. Suppose 39 plus 16. What is the answer? 39, that is cancelled, that is 40. 40 plus 16, 56. Minus 1, that is equal to 55. No need to uh, take a sum of here. Uh, 9 plus uh, 6, 1, 2, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is equal to 5. And 1, 1 plus equal to 4, 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Don't do like this. It's a, just to using your common sense, you will get the answer. What is the 39? What is the nearest rounded number? 40. 40 plus 16, 56. Minus 1, 55. Suppose 49 plus 19. What happened? Either you should take 50 plus 19 or 20 plus 49, whatever it is. It's upon you. Suppose 14, you convert 49 into a nearest rounded number. What happened? That is equal to 50, right? 50 plus 19, 69. What we need to do is just to subtract to 1 from 69. So what is the answer? Answer is equal to 68. Suppose 59 plus 15. What is the answer? What is the 59? That is equal to 60. 60 plus 15, 75. Minus one, that is equal to 74, which is required answer, right? Up to here, any doubt, all of you? No, sir. Okay. Now, suppose 19 plus 38. What is the answer? 19, that is equal to 20. 20 plus 38, 58. Minus one, that is equal to 57. Is it clear, Raj brothers? Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Support 29 plus 47. What is the answer? 29 is 30. 30 plus 47, 77. 77 minus 1, 76 is the answer. If you observe, I never add 9 plus 7 and carry the carry 1 plus 2 plus 4, etc just to convert this number into nearest rounded number and then add. Suppose 39 plus 56. What is the answer? 39, that is equal to 40. 40 plus 56, 96. Minus 1, 97 is the answer. Right? Suppose 49 plus 75. What is the 49? That is equal to 50. 50 plus 75, 125. Minus 1, 124 is the answer. Just wait, Harshika. Suppose 59 plus, uh, what do you say? Uh, 39, let us take. So 59, that is equal to 60. 60 plus 39, 99. Minus 1, that is equal to 98, which is required answer. 